Hello everyone, this is your instructor for Robatool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So, in this video, uh, we are going to see that how hexadecimal numbers can be used in order to represent error codes, right? So, it is one of the application of hexadecimal numbers. What are error codes? Error codes are basically the errors that can come into your machine into a system or uh, into a network. It can be anything, any error that prompts up due to some kind of um, uh, abnormality or uh, failure, right? So let's suppose I am searching on an internet and I suddenly get an error like D03 um, page not available not found let's suppose right it's an error code so this error code is basically in the form of hexadecimal number right d03 is a kind of hexadecimal number that is used to represent the error that is the error is page not found but this is this error is represented in form of hexadecimal number that is d03 right so um this is how we can use different kind of error codes for different uh, reasons right so let's take a past paper example so that you can be more clear about it so let me share it with you Okay, so here is the past paper example that is of October, November 2017 paper, right? So let's see what it says. A washing machine has a small display screen built into it, right? There is a small, for example, this is my washing machine, right? And there is a small display screen that is built into it, right? Okay, so a display screen shows a hexadecimal error code. E04. This screen say just prints up an error that is E04, right? So the error code means that water will not empty out of the washing machine, right? What is this error code means? That basically gives us the definition that water will not empty out of the washing machine. Okay, so convert it into binary. This is my first step or my first part and what second part is state why hexadecimal is used to display the error code it is basically you are going to give a reason for it why you are using hexadecimals instead of text right you can use text to uh, show the error or to display the error right but instead of that you are using hexadecimal numbers right so for the first part this is very simple we just need to convert this e04 hexadecimal numbers into binary so each hexadecimal number into binary is going to have four bits right for e we are having one 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 zero for zero you are having zero 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 and for four you are having zero one zero zero if you don't know about this conversion, please go and see the video of my conversion, my conversion video of how you can convert a hexadecimal into a binary, right? So this is how I have converted each of the bit into its particular 4-bit binary number. Now, second part. In the second part, I need to give the answer or I give, I need to give the reason of using hexadecimal in error code, right? So, uh, here I have two reasons for it. The first reason is that um, due to lesser space, it occupies lesser space or lesser display screen, right? So, I can write it as uh, hexadecimal codes hexadecimal codes um, can fit into 
in a smaller display screen right in a smaller display rather than in rather than a full text based message base message right can you got my point what i have said that by using hexadecimal numbers we only need to write e04 this e04 explains me that what is the error behind right so we don't need to display a message uh in a very uh long format right like we cannot we don't need to write a full text based message why because our display screen is very small it is not um uh it is not that much big enough that you can write a very big or lengthy message right so in order to uh accumulate or in order to just uh write a message in a very smaller format you are using this hexadecimal numbers why because here you just need a small space to write your message right or write your code so the second reason can be a uh, smaller amount of memory needed to store the hex error messages than a text based of course it is uh, relatable why because if you are having a full text based message then definitely you are going to have a larger memory for it right you need to have a bigger or a larger memory space in order to store that particular big text based message so uh, for a hexadecimal code you just need a smaller memory size right so the second reason can be we just need a smaller amount of memory amount of memory sorry i don't have enough space over here to write more but i can say that smaller amount of memory needed to store the hex error messages than the full text based message right so these are the reasons that we can write in this uh in the answer for this particular part right so this is all about this video in this video i have shared to you that how you can use error codes um and you can write uh these particular codes in a hexadecimal number right and why is it so i have also shared the reasons for that so i hope this is all clear to you thank you so much for watching the video please share it with your other uh, colleagues as well other students other friends and please like it share it subscribe the channel and stay tuned stay connected for my more videos thank you so much for watching it see you in the next video where i am probably going to start a next topic other than hexadecimals right so thank you so much take care